Hey guys, Fox here. I uh, decided I'd do a GameBots video because I got so much shit here to show off. Um, I uh, ordered a couple things online. I found some deals at some stores. I also went to Florida recently and I did a lot of uh, game hunting, I guess you can call it, over there. Hit some flea markets and uh, thrift stores, pawn shops, and man, the pawn shops are plentiful in Florida. Let me tell you what. <laughs> So let's first off start with uh, the thing that I ordered a few months back that uh, Prima uh, Game Guides, you know what I'm talking about, uh, very quietly released. Uh, I didn't hear a lot about it, but I did get a, uh, I ran into it accidentally on the Square Enix shut, uh, online store, and I ordered it through Amazon because it was nearly half the price. But uh, that is the Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 uh, strategy books that they redone and released in this nice collector box. Uh, Final Fantasy there, had like a slip cover there. Nothing there, it's uh, held by a magnet and then you put the books in there. I took them out so this would be easier. So first up, it came with this little envelope and it has some uh, little mini posters or lithographs or whatever you want to call them. So we got one of glare off. Famous Final Fantasy 7, which I've actually been looking for a small poster of this lately, and here I go. I got one for free out of this. So that probably will get framed and hung. We also got Final Fantasy 8. Squall there. And we got Final Fantasy 9 with Vivi. Throwing all this stuff down here. All right, we got the seven book. I'm not going to go through these because these are pretty much actually what Prima originally released way back in the 90s, uh, except they fixed them up. They've uh, fixed some problems, added a, just a few minor things. Uh, the big thing that they did change was the nine book is because this used to have a lot of that Sony fucking online bullshit you had to do to get a lot of the stuff so they took all that out of there and just put it in the book so um i'm excited to have these i do not have any of the guides for any of these books but now i have nice hardcover versions of them so excited especially this because i wanting to replay that lately up next i finally picked up one of these bad boys uh, now that they're only 40 bucks, uh, I could not pass it up. Um, it's unfortunate though because now I, it seems like Sony might stop making these fairly soon since they're so damn cheap. Uh, but I really want it, main reason I wanted it so I could play video games on the TV. Uh, but also so I have a nice little streaming box in the game room. So, yeah, uh, still in the box, haven't popped it open yet to add it yet to the TV. I probably will shortly. Um, oh, and I got that at Target for 40 bucks, which is nice. So, Also at Target, I picked up uh, a couple of World of Nintendo minifigures. I got Link here from Wind Waker. Not bad. Not crazy. I mean, I'm going to take them out of the box. I don't care to keep these cheap figures in the box. I'm going to put them somewhere on a shelf, put a shield on his arm there, because it kind of looks silly like he's holding his belt. Um, and also Ganondorf, Wind Waker version, which I thought he was pretty cool. Those are not bad for, I think, $3 and change. So, game stores and whatnot that I found. In Florida, I picked up a few things for decent prices. First up, guidebook, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. They had this in a big, they had a bunch of guidebooks at this one store, and this was only 5 bucks. I know the game isn't ranked very high in the, among Fire Emblem fans. I haven't played it yet myself, uh, but I do like Fire Emblem stuff, so I don't mind holding on to that. Uh, this one store in uh, north, just north of Tampa near uh, University of South Florida had tons of fucking boxed Nintendo stuff. Uh, I could have gone ape shit in there, bought all kinds of stuff that I wanted to add to the collection. But uh, I went frugal route and got stuff that wasn't terribly expensive. But 
stuff that I wanted to add to the collection. Now I already have this game, but now I have it complete. So I have Shadowgate here. If you guys haven't played this game, it's pretty cool. It's pretty brutal. It's hard. It's an adventure game. A lot of fun, but uh, this has everything in it. The box is a little beat up, a little faded on the front, but I don't care. As long as I have it all there and it's not ratty. Uh, okay, and next I picked up a pretty good condition copy of Dragon Warrior in the box. This box is in fairly good condition. Happy about that. Uh, it doesn't have the map, but uh, I'll keep my eyes out for the map. You go to game stores and ask for like their... Uh, their manuals. They usually have a bin full of manuals and they'll just pop it out, just put it on the counter and be like, go for it, look through it. And sometimes you can find maps and some other things in there. Um, also got a box copy of SimCity. Uh, the box is in okay condition. This, this side of the box is a little rough, but this side of the box is pretty nice. Uh, it's got the big ass manual in there. The only thing I don't have is the little cardboard insert that holds the game from sliding around. Um, I need to find those. I'm sure I can find some online. Uh, next up, Sega Genesis. Um, I've been in the mood of picking up a lot of Halloween-style games. It's my favorite holiday, so... One thing I found for only 12 bucks was uh, Decap Attack. Early Sega Genesis title. Um, but a lot of people talk about it. A lot of fun. So, I'll definitely be playing this. Missing the manual, unfortunately, but for the price, it was... I could deal with it. I got a very, very nice copy of Zillion on the Master System. Very nice. Got the tab. Everything's perfect. I'll pop it open here. Cart only has a little bit of wear in the corner, and the manual is pretty damn nice. So, Zillion, building up my Master System collection a little bit. Um, got these kid robot uh, figures for our South Park Stick of Truth. I was only missing one. And that's uh, Princess Kenny. So I was happy to actually find this at retail price. So, you know, it wasn't all marked up and shit because I know they stopped making it. Uh, so up here I have, of course, the Grand Wizard edition of Cartman. But then I have uh, Stan, Kyle, and Butters there. I was only missing Kenny. So now I got them all. Yay! Um, pawn Shop Find for only a couple bucks. Metroid. NES Classic Series. I mean, it's card only. I usually don't like buying card only, but when it's really cheap, I don't mind. Uh, thrift store find. I got Final Fantasy, the non-player's choice or whatever the greatest hits version, which I'm happy about, so this will replace mine. Uh, yeah, thrift stores, you know, always good. Real cheap prices. Um, here was a kind of a steal, and I didn't know this game was actually quite that rare, but... Uh, Dragon's Lair on Blu-ray. So, I found this at the oddest place. I found it at a baby store consignment shop where they resell all kinds of baby shit. And I was just looking through all the movies and stuff, and this was sitting in there. I was like, huh. So I checked it out, and this thing goes upward towards 100 bucks, Which is kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. So, anyways, I only paid like 5 bucks for it, and it, it's a Blu-ray game. Pretty neat. I don't have any copies of Dragon's Lair, so there we go. They're still fine. I got SSX3. Arguably one of the best SSX games. Next to Tricky, I think. Um, I got a... Oh, no, I already showed that shit off earlier. There we go. This was interesting. I found this at Target. Just laying next to where they have all the... The cards, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Pokemon, and shit like that. They sometimes have little collectibles sitting over there. And I found this. A tin, lunchbox tin, for Mario. And it's official Nintendo product there. So I thought it was pretty cool. We got Mario on this side. Luigi, and you got some characters up here and on the sides. Um, and we got some shit on the inside, which I have not gone through. So, pop it open, and we got dog tags. Super Mario dog tag. Look for gold tags. So, none of these are open yet, so I might pop them open and show you. There's a little Yoshi, Bowser. So, we got all kinds of dog tags here. 
kind of neat. I think they're random, so I will pop them open and show you guys. Also came with a loose one, which is just a basic silver toad. These are kind of neat. This is hardy dog tag. I mean, it's not like a normal dog tag where it's thin and lightweight. This is pretty solid. Um, you also get a poster, which is New Super Mario Brothers U poster. Yeah, and a card. Luigi. It's kind of got this foily shit on it. I don't know if this is used for anything or it's just a collector's card. But, yeah. Um, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to open these, pop these suckers open, and we'll take a look at them. Alright guys, these are what were in the packs here, so we get, it looks like you get a card and the dog tag, so we got one of the Kippa, Koopa Kids here on the ball, I'm not sure which one, they all say that on the back. Card was Roy Koopa, and you get some stickers, so I got Boo, pretty awesome, I like Boo. And then a card, so you got like the collector's list here. A checklist of all the cards. So you got gold tags. Looks like it's just Bowser, Donkey Kong, Luigi, Mario, Peach, and Yoshi. But there's quite a few of these things. And you got some original tags. I would like to have those top two. Those are pretty neat. Sorry, one-handed here. Pretty neat. I think they all came with that checklist. Throw that in the trash. I got a Bowser tag with Larry Koopa. And I got some Flower Power stickers. And this one is, an, looks like Bowser Jr. I got a Windy Koopa card. And a big sticker of Toad. Cool, guys. All right, that's all of my uh, pickups for, I don't know, last couple weeks, actually. It hasn't been very long since I did my pickups. I think I did some pickups in my last vlog video. So, Anyways, guys, this was uh, not too bad in length, so I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.